today is Thursday it is November 7 2024 the time we have is 9 30 in the morning 9 33 if you can see that and uh, we are here today in uh, NGP uh, resorts and adventure here in Araya Pampanga now I'm not new to Araya I mean I've been to Araya a couple of times uh, I remember visiting a riot in Porak before which is where Iluk Kamalik is uh, located and uh, we're gonna do the usual we're gonna go ahead and uh, make a, a tour of this uh, camp spot or camping site uh, so you guys would know what uh, they have and uh, what they don't and uh, let's go check it out come with me stop let me show you my uh, camping spot there you can see Maxine obviously again uh, parked beside my uh, tent the highlight of this uh, spot that I have is because I have this nice looking swing and of course we have Kawa baths I took a bath in here yesterday they filled it up with water for me for an extra price and there are other Kawa baths over there we're gonna go ahead and check them out later and this is a pretty nice cool swing all right see that a little later we're gonna go ahead and dive into this again and you can also see that there are several kubos or huts over here which you can rent and the good thing about the, these uh, kubos <clears throat> excuse me is because uh, they do have uh, power outlets as you can see over there there's two of them I'm actually charging my devices through this although I do have my uh, EcoFlow uh, power station it doesn't hurt to charge it directly and they have a light and an electric fan so there's the fan there's the light there's the fan okay I don't know how much it is to rent uh, a spot like this one but we'll find out in a bit <clears throat> let's go ahead and check the other place so we have other kava baths over here now I actually paid 150 <coughs> excuse me for the kava bath and uh, I don't know exactly the official rate is but uh, that's uh, the rate I paid for it and then this is just a view of the entire campsite which is pretty beautiful because you know the only thing you can hear would be birds chirping in the background and uh, maybe some of uh, what you call latoko which I'm kind of afraid of and also you'll notice they do have a, bon um, a designated bonfire areas here supposedly I was gonna have a bonfire last night over here it was uh, ready but it rained and besides I don't have you know the gas or whatever to live light it up so it's there and let's see here there's this uh, bamboo table over here so we're gonna go ahead and walk around hello Maxine so also I know this over here although excuse me because I have some of my stuff over here this table over here on this uh, cool bowl <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken <clears throat> excuse me if I'm not mistaken you can actually cook right here see you see that it says plus roasted push and then it looks like there's a stove control which is uh, I think in uh, Korean I'm not sure but definitely not English so and the same thing they have power outlets and a fan and a light over here again additional uh, bonfire uh, area and other kubos over here so I noticed that there are actually enclosed huts like this one over here I don't know if you can actually get in you know what let's go ahead and try let's see here if we can see what's inside here so there's a light <clears throat> there's a switch over here switch Okay, the light works, but there's no fan. I wonder if this door is unlocked. It is unlocked. And from here, we can see mattresses. 
Okay, there are mattresses. Now we're not gonna bother going in because I just don't wanna go in. All right, now let's step out of here. <clears throat> There's actually uh, some uh, other guests here. When I arrived here yesterday, they're already there. We'll see if we can have a chat with them. So there's one, two, three, four, five kubos over here, All right? Which we don't know how much they cost if you rent them. And there's a targeting spot over there you can use. And uh, there's a table and a shelter over there. This is actually a huge place. Uh, it just needs a little bit more of care. Well, check that out. Let's go ahead and see that. It looks like there's a nice uh, nest spot over there. Hold on. Alright, so we found this spot right here. We're going to go ahead and climb up and see what we have. Oh, there's actually a swing over here. Pretty nice. And there's a nest. We're going to go ahead and take the stairs over here and climb up. It's a steel stair. So... It's pretty sturdy obviously and we have a beautiful view from up here there's a nest right here pretty nice right and check that out what a beautiful view can you guys see and from up here you can see the rest of the uh, huts so there's from here there's one two three four five six seven eight if I'm not mistaken there's a big open uh, area right here I don't know who owns it or what they're gonna do with it okay let's go ahead and climb back down we're not gonna get in here you know what for the heck of it let's get in and then we'll take a picture of myself hold on <laughs> I'm just gonna get in and there's no need for a picture just so you guys can see Let's head back down. Let's have a quick chit chat with the uh, other guests. Talk to you in a bit. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and have a quick conversation, quick chat with uh, some of our fellow guests right here in NGP campsite. Hello, po. Ah, uh, okay. Tali mo talo ng tatanong ko. Balit tayo saan po kayo? Kaso City. Okay, Kaso City. I see. First time you po bang apat dito sa campsite po ngito? Yes po. First time din ako sa kayo. Pero is this the first time na magkampo kayo? I guess Hi. not. Sabi ko na eh, kasi nakita ko po yung setup niyo pa ako mukhang dati na kayo nagka-camp. Sa po kayo dati mga nakapag-camp na. Ah, uh, pa lang po kasi season ng camper lang po kami. Ah, oh, season na. Pero yung last na campsite na pinuntahan po ninyo saan? Sir, remember. Hindi pa ako napunta doon. Hindi pa ako napunta doon. Hindi pa ako napunta doon. Although kasi ako po monthly, assuming na maayos ang panahon. Kapag hindi maayos ang panahon na mangyayari, the following month, hahabulin ko yun, magdadalawa ako. Although ako po kasi north-south, north-south. So last month, nasa Laguna ako. So this time, sa north naman ako, sa south as north. Uh, two days and uh, one night po kayo? Tama ba? Three days. Ah, three days. Three days, two nights. Ah, okay, tagad din pala, no? May idea po kayo magkano ang payment nyo dito? Yes, uh, $5.49 per, uh, per, per, per night. Per night? Per, per packs. Oh, okay. Per packs, okay. $5.49. Okay. okay, not bad. Kasi ako binayara ko $600. Eh. Two days, one night. Tapos may kawabat ako. May kawabat din ako. Ayun, mas malaki yata yung kawabat dito. Ayun, oh, dito. I see. Ayun, siguro yung lampo. Meron po ba kayong gustong batiin? O, oh, mga shout-out. So, tinyo sila. Ay, mama, ano po pangalan nila? Sorry. Ay, kapangalan niyo po yung sister ko. Si Ma'am Zara at kay so, Jing. Ayan. So, sila po yung mga ka, uh, moto camper. I know, not moto campers. Uh, car campers po sila from Quezon City. Bye-bye! Bye-bye po. Thank you. 
Okay, so we just had a conversation with some of the guests right here. Right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and check the facilities. We're gonna check the bathroom, the shower area, so you guys would know what to expect when you go here, okay? So, let me go ahead and put you on pause and I'll talk to you in a bit. Okay, so we're now approaching the uh, shower area. As you can see, it says there, shower only. And they have a uh, sink over here. This is where I washed my dishes. They have water. Thank goodness they do because last night there was no water. Uh, they said their pump is uh, under repair. So this is the male area. Let's turn on the lights over here. There we go. We're just gonna check one. This is where I was last night. We have a nice shower head right there. Okay. Let me show you real quick. Hoping we don't get wet. There we go. There's water. And the shower is actually working. Can you guys see? It is working. You cannot tell uh, because of the uh, background. And the other one also works somewhere here. This one also works. All right. Uh, but one thing I've noticed, they don't have hooks where you can hang your stuff. So please put hooks, the basics. And then the other side is over here, which obviously is for the women. We're not gonna go in there. But let's check the faucet here, it's working. All right, moving along. Let's turn off the faucet pretty tight so we don't waste water. Now we're gonna go ahead and check the uh, bathroom, I mean the uh, toilets. All right, they have some areas right here that are still going, repairs and works. Nice place right here, you see those? You can actually climb up, take the stairs and stay over there, dine and you know, chill. And there are also uh, dining tables out here. So it says your CR this way, we're gonna go ahead inside. There we go. So to the left is for the men and to the right is for the women. Okay, so give me a moment. Let me just fold this real quick. Ah. There we go. There's a faucet, water, water, there's a urinal over here, I don't know how this thing works but uh, it's working and they have three cubicles, alright, and three cubicles, there's a light, okay, so let's see if the bidet and the flush is working. So flush is working. Bidet. Bidet is working. Although they're using bungee bungee cables. Bungee hose. Which could be tricky to use. So that's the uh, bathroom situation or the toilet situation, whatever you want to call it. And then I don't know what's upstairs. I don't even know if we're allowed to go there. We might as well not. Uh, let me show you the rest of the area. They have some statues right here that are still undergoing uh, work. See that hippopotamus? And there's a weird looking bear. <laughs> nice place, right? More of those... Uh, how do you even call that? Uh, upstairs dining or I don't know. Maybe we should climb it. <laughs> Check out the <that> lion. <laughs> what a skinny lion. Right. Over there, there's a huge platform up there. We're gonna go ahead and climb up here and see what we have. Go. Taking the stairs. Wow, look at that area. It is beautiful, right? Take this one right here. Here we go.
<laughs> Check out those elephants over there. Okay. Okay, so now let's go down. Let's go back down. Okay. I'm gonna show you where the entrance is, okay? So there are rooms over there that I believe you can rent. I just don't know how much. We'll try to talk to some of the uh, caretakers in a bit. So there's a giraffe over there. Yeah, you guys see that? Okay. So just walk over here. Uh, this is, by the way, their office. This function hall. Tree house, resto, and campsite. Okay, so we're just gonna walk until we get to the gate. More uh, rooms for rent, and they actually have light uh, or lamp posts over here that are turned on at nighttime. This place is actually nice and quiet, although. Uh, it's got potential and there's a uh, room for uh, improvement. For one, I've noticed that uh, they have limited, uh, limited to zero uh, trash cans. Like if you notice, if you go inside the bathrooms, there are no trash cans whatsoever. So that's gonna be an issue if the guests are the type of guests who doesn't know how to take care of their own mess, if you know what I mean. But I think it would be, you know, a good thing to have a trash can in the bathroom, in the toilet area, even in the uh, camping grounds. That way the guests won't have to, you know, trouble themselves on how to get rid of their trash. Google Maps just search for NGP Resort and Adventures all right so that's their main gate on the left you'll see Rodriguez Nature Park most likely this is where you'll be coming from from here there's a bridge from here this is the first one that you'll see obviously all right you'll see Rodriguez Nature Park and then to its right is NGP Resort and Adventures. So all you have to do is take a right, take a right, and then you'll see NGP Resort and Adventures. That is where you're gonna have to go. But this place over here also looks nice. I wonder if we can go in and just, you know, take a look inside. Nice. Maybe we should try this sometime. Okay, enough of that. Let's go back in. We'll see if we can talk to some of the uh, caretakers. Talk to you in a bit. And so, kasama po natin si Sir. Ano po nang nila? Jepoy, Sir. Si Sir Jepoy, siya po yung uh, manager dito sa campsite sa NGP. Sir, uh, bali, tanong ko lang po, anong oras po ba nag-open kayo dito? Ang um, day tour po namin yung open ko. 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pero kapag overnight po, uh, start po kami na. Eh, flexible naman po yung oras natin. Yun ang maganda, yung, yung salitang flexible. Kasi tulad ko, minsan maaga, uh, minsan late. Isa kasi may mga campers na ito na ating gabi. Mas gusto kasi ng mga campers gabi na. Oo, oh, gabi. Hapon. Uh, Tawag dito kapag over, uh, pag day tour, magkano po? 50 per head sa day. 50 per head sa day tour. Tapos kapag overnight po, uh, conformi sa mga package na kukunin, sir. Uh, ano po ba yung mga available natin na packages? Kung camping overnight yung kukunin nila sir, sa kami magsiset up ng tent. Opo. May kasama ng bedding, sa mga... Ah, hindi ko alam yun. So, oh, yung pala kayo. Kami po, kami po magsiset up ng tent. Oh, Kaso per head po yung rates. Magkano po yung 449 per head. 449 per head. Sa inyo yung tent. Opo. Kasama ng interest na sir. Kasama ng interest na sir. May refrigerator na rin yun. Sa camping po. <laughs> May refrigerator yung tent eh. Hindi, wala sa freezer. Kaganong <laughs> pala. Tawag dito balik, 
gano'ng katagal na po itong NGP? Tama po ba NGP? NGP, sir. Gano'ng katagal uh, na po? Since uh, 2023. Ah. Nag-start kami 2023. So, halos bago pa rin pala. Kanya pala parang under development pa rin yung ibang lugar. Na ah, halos ba? Ibang ano, ano, malaki potential. Maganda yung lugar. Uh, malawak, fresco, tsaka nature. Mm -hmm. Tawag dito, ito pong mga... Parang kwarto-kwarto bahay na yan for rent din po ba? Studio type sa sir. Ah, magkano po yung ganyan? Kung mm. ano sir, kung sa mga cabin na studio type. Nasa 2-1-80 sir, walang break po. Uh, 2-1-80, overnight na po oh, yun? Oo, overnight yan. From 2pm to 12 noon the next day po. Uh, ilang packs ang kasya po? Good for 2 po. Good for 2 lang. Mas tawag na sila pag lumabas eh, more than 2 na sila. Oo po. <laughs> Ay, may additional charge na yun. <laughs> ano yun? Ano yun? May breakfast? Oo, oh, 2 for 80 naman siya, sir. 2 for 80. Oh, oh, napansin ko, ang ganda nito mga... Three houses. Yan, may mga... Pwede, pwede sila mag-set up ng tent, sir, dyan. Ah, pwede ba? Oo. Oh, oh. Kapag Kasi, ganyan, magkano? May package din kami, sir, na ano, camp, uh, three house camp. Ano yun? Magkano yung ganyan three house camp? 500 for dyan. Per head. Per head din. Oh, kami, ka, sa amin yung tent, sir. Yung tent. Eh, paano kung kunwari? Ako, in my case, kasi may sarili akong gamit. Tent pitching kayo na, sir. Magkano yung ganun? 249 po. Oh, okay. Kung may breakfast naman gusto nyo, 300. Oh, okay. So, 249, tent pitching, overnight na yun? Ah, sir. Hindi ko alam na pwede, pwede pala mag-pitch dyan. Pwede sir. Kung, kami, kung may sarili kayo sa mga 3 house po namin, kung sa inyo tayo, 349 po. Okay. Oh. Tapos parang may dinedevelop din kayo ng restaurant pa, no? Apo, yung isang katapos na sir. O yun, Sir Jepoy, baka may gusto kong batiin. Wala naman. O, imbitay mo sila. Ah... Pwede bang, pwede yung bumisita sa NGV Resort? Try nyo mong camping, guys. Saan, saan ito? Sa Purok 6, Balidira. Ito pa. Sa Arayan Near, po. Uh, nearest landmark po namin ay Cafe Sinuwala. Ito pa. Ayun. Sige, thank you ulit, ha. Sir Jepo, thank you. Thank you, sir. Babalik ako. Bye-bye! Peace! Alright, so that's our uh, quick conversation with uh, Sir Jepo, one of the uh, managers. Uh, slash engineer slash caretaker of the NGP uh, resort so we're gonna go ahead back now uh, to our camping spot so just found out that you can actually pitch your tents over here I'll uh, write down the uh, prices later so you guys are aware perhaps the next time I come over here I'll go ahead and pitch my tent up there I just found out that I can actually do that. This is a nice place to go to and I would like to pitch my tent there. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so uh, I guess that's about it for our uh, tour of this uh, place right here. And I'll talk to you in the next video. I'll see you soon. And again, uh, please uh, don't forget to uh, support by subscribing to my channel all right uh, to do that simply search for solo motor camp one word no space I know the uh, name of my channel is today's view but if you try searching for today's view it takes a long time to load up so instead please search for solo motor camp s o l o m o t o c a m p and you'll be able to find my channel so like share and subscribe click the notification bell so you'll be informed of any new contents and please leave a comment below all right bye now peace